Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Android Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. Now, in order to install Android Studio on your Windows 11 operating system, you need to have Java on your operating system. So first of all, we are going to see how we can install Java JDK and then we are going to see how we can install and use Android Studio. So for that, first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK download. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com forward slash java forward slash technologies forward slash download. So just click on this link. I'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly come to this website. And here you just need to scroll down. At the time of making this video, Java 17 is the latest version which is available for download. So when you scroll down, you will see the option to uh, download the Linux binaries or the Mac OS binaries or the Windows binaries, right? So we are going to select Windows from here and then we are going to select the exe option here. So just select the link which is in front of the installer option here. So click on this uh, link here. So just wait for the download to complete. And once this exe file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser. So first of all, you will see this kind of window which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app, so I will click on yes. And now I can see the Java JDK installer has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So here you just need to click on the next button. And this will be the default location where Java will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. Just remember this location. So by default, it's installed in C, then program files, then it's going to create a Java directory in program files folder. And then there will be a JDK 17 folder or the name of the folder will be the version of JDK you are installing, right? So if you want to change this path, just uh, click on change and then uh, change the destination. Otherwise, if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next, which is going to start the installation of Java on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, you just need to wait for uh, this process to complete. And in few seconds, you can see the Java JDK has been installed on my Windows 11 operating system. So I'm going to close this window. That means Java is installed on my Windows 11 operating system. But still I have to do a few things. First of all, I'm going to just go to the location where Java is installed. So just uh, open your folder explorer and then uh, go to the C directory. And then I'm going to go to the program files where Java folder is created. And then in my case, JDK 17.0.1. Uh, is created in your case this folder name version can be different so just go uh, to this folder right now in order to set the environment variable for java what you need to do you can just click on the search icon once again and then just type edit env here which is going to show you this result which says edit environment variable for your account and it's going to open this kind of window you can also open this edit environment variable using control panel. So you can search for uh, control panel and then just view by category here and then click on system and security, then click on system. And then once the system window opens, you can click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables, which is also going to show you the same window, right? So, you can choose any method to open this uh, environment variable window. And once this is open, you need to click on the path environment variable under system variables and then click on edit. And here you need to add the path to your JDK folder binaries. So go to the folder where we have installed Java until a JDK folder and then click on uh, bin folder. So we need to go inside the bin folder inside this JDK folder and then copy the path, right? So until bin and then copy this path from here, go to uh, the environment variable window once again, 
and then you can double click here or you can click on new which is go also going to show you this option and then just paste this path until bin and then press enter which is going to add this path to your environment variable. So click on OK. So your Java environment variable is set. Now some application also needs the Java home environment variable on your Windows operating system to uh, run them. So let me show you how you can set the Java home environment variable also. So you can go at the top under user variable uh, section and then click on new here and then the variable name you need to provide here is java underscore home everything is capital just write whatever i have written here everything in capital and the variable value will be the folder which we have opened which is uh, jdk folder so don't go inside the bin folder in this case just copy the path until jdk folder you don't need to go inside the bin folder in this case okay and then just paste this path under variable values okay so you can see there is no bin folder added here only the path until the jdk folder click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok which is going to set the environment variable for java on your windows 11 operating system now once you have installed java and set the environment variables you can use Java on command line. So you can uh, just open the command prompt by typing CMD once again. And then I can type Java space hyphen uh, version here. And it's going to show me the version of Java. So you can see Java version 17.0.1. So once the installation of Java JDK is finished, we are ready to install Android Studio. So for that, open your browser once again and then search for android studio download and the first link which will appear here will be from developer.android.com forward slash studio so i'm going to click on this link i'm going to put this link in the description of this video also so you can directly come to this uh, website and straight away once this web page is open you will be able to see this download android studio button here right and the version at the time of making this video is 2020.3.1 you might see the different version depending upon when you are downloading android studio so i'm going to just click on this download button which is going to open this license terms and conditions uh, window i just need to read or go through these license terms and conditions and if you agree with them just check this checkbox and then click on this green button which is going to start the download of this android studio exe file now once this executable file is downloaded just go to the location where it's downloaded and then just right click here so you need to run this file as an administrator okay so don't just uh, double click on it directly you just need to run it as an administrator so right click and then click on run as administrator so first of all you will see uh, this kind of warning do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i trust this app so i'm going to click on yes here and you can see the setup window for android studio has been started so on the first window just click on next and on the second window also you just need to choose the components so both the components are selected so i'm going to click on next here also this will be the default location where Android Studio will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. And here also just uh, leave everything as default and then click on next. And just wait for the installation to complete. You can also see the details of the installation so you can see what packages and libraries are being downloaded extracted and installed and now after some time i can see uh, this message which says installation complete the setup was completed successfully so once you see this message you can click on next button and then you can just uh, check this checkbox and then click on finish which is going to launch Android Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. Now when you start your Android Studio on your Windows 11 operating system for the first time, it will ask you to import uh, 
some settings or not. So if you don't have the previous installation of Android Studio on your Windows 11 operating system, you can just leave it as do not import settings option and then click on OK, which is going to start Android Studio on your Windows 11 operating system. And now I can see uh, this window which says data sharing. So if you want to share data with uh, Google, you can click on send usage statistics to Google. I don't want to share anything, so I'm going to click on don't send. And now you can see uh, the Android Studio IDE has been started. And you can see Kotlin plugin update available. So at any point, uh, Android Studio is going to show you these update messages. So if you want to update uh, these plugins, then you can click on update and it's going to update your plugins or drivers, right? And now at this point, we need to set up our Android Studio according to our preferences, right? So this is just for the first time you need to set up Android Studio. So at this point, click on next here. And then uh, from here, you can choose standard and then click on next. And you can choose either the light theme or the darkula theme, whatever you like. For now, I'm going to click on the light theme and then click on next. And then at last, you will see uh, this window which says verified settings. So you can see uh, these all uh, uh, SDKs and Android related uh, files will be uh, downloaded. So I'm going to click on finish, which is going to start the download and install of all the drivers and all the SDK files on your Android studio, right? So at this point also, once again, you need to wait for some time. And if you want to see the details, always click on uh, show details button, which is going to show you uh, the details of what's going on in the installation process. And once the installation process is complete, I'm going to click on finish button. And now the Android Studio has been started on your Windows 11 operating system. So from here, you can customize your Android Studio, install plugins and learn more about Android Studio. Let's create a very simple Android Studio project and let's see if everything is working fine or not. You can also see when you click on more actions here, you have the profile or debug APK, import project, import an Android code sample, AVD manager and SDK manager here, right? So let's create a new project. I'm going to click on the new uh, project option here. And from here, you can uh, choose what you want to develop. I'm going to just choose the empty activity here and then click on next. And this will be the name of my application. I'm going to uh, change uh, it as my simple app. And you can also choose the language in which you want to develop your app. So nowadays the default language is Kotlin, but you can also choose Java from here. So let's choose Java for now. And also you can choose the SDK. So by default, API 21 is selected, which covers approximately 98% of devices. But if you want to choose any other version, for example, I want to choose some uh, newer version, I can choose, uh, let's say, the newest version here, which is available, which is API 31, but it just covers uh, less than 1% of devices, right? So I will leave it as uh, API 21 for now, which covers approximately 98% of devices and then click on uh, finish here, which is going to start your Android studio and create your project. Just maximize this window here. For the first time when your project is created, you can see it takes some time. It uh, takes some time to download all the Gradle related files and other files. So you just need to wait for some time until uh, you see the project structure here and you can see uh, that all the downloads are complete here at the bottom. You will see uh, all the processes which are going on. You can uh, just click on show all link here and you will see what's going on. So it's importing the Gradle project right now and then it's going to update the indexes, right? So now I can see my project has been created and all the indexing has been done. I can minimize this window because I don't need it. And when a new project is created, you will see uh, two files here. 
first one is main activity dot java where you will uh, write all the logic behind your android app and you will see activity underscore main dot xml file where you can design your app right so you have all these uh, components here you can drag and drop these components uh, in your uh, app and then you can use these components right but before running your app you need an android emulator where you will uh, run your app right you have created your app but where this app will run on your device so you need to add a device so i'm going to click on this no device option and then click on avd manager and you can see it says virtual device allow you to test your application without having your own physical device right so i'm going to click on create virtual device here and then choose any of the phone here so first of all choose the category and then i will choose pixel 5 here right and then click on next and from here i can choose any release but on the right hand side i can see this red message which says haxm is not installed so if you see this message then fix is simple you just need to click on this uh, install haxm if you don't see this message if you don't see this message everything is fine for you and you don't need to install haxm it's already installed on your device right so if you see this red message just click on this install haxm and then uh, click on next here which is going to show you this uh, message i'm going to click on yes here and now i just need to wait for some time and after some time i can see this message which says intel haxm installed successfully so i can click on finish option and once that's done uh, i can just uh, download any uh, of the release from here right so let me choose this uh, pi version which is version 28 and then uh, i need to accept all license terms and conditions and then click on next here which is going to start the download here you can see the process of download in this progress bar so you can see two percent three percent here and once this sdk is installed you will see uh, this uh, message here which is done so you can just click on finish and then you can see this pi release is installed so you can click on next now and then select the avd name i will leave it as default and then you can also select your orientation so i will leave it as default also and then click on finish so once i click on finish this device will be added to my virtual device and once this device is added i can just uh, close this and i can always select this device from here and then click on run app button which is going to build my app and then run this app in my virtual device which is this pixel 5 virtual device now in case if you see this message which says fail to install the following android sdk packages some license has not been accepted so to solve this problem what you need to do is you just need to click on tools here and then click on sdk manager and once sdk manager opens select android sdk here and on the top select sdk tools right and then click on this option which says android sdk command line tools right so right now it's not installed so i'm going to just apply this and then click on ok and then accept and then click on next which is going to download this uh, command line uh, tool and once this tool is installed click on finish and then click on ok now right and then try once again and this time you will see that your build process will uh, move forward your emulator is already started so you can see it's waiting for the build to finish and then it's going to launch your app in your emulator so let me move this emulator on the right hand side so you can see the build also and also see this app and now i can see my launch is successful on my android emulator and the name of my app at the top is my simple app which is the name of my project and i can see hello world here now I can see which was the button which was here right so this is how you can uh, download and install android studio on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video